we were scientists and, uh, and uh, you, um, when you wrote the report, what kind of conclusion did you came to? Well, I think it's a possibility of a number of factors. I know the original report said that there was a possible failure of the glues um, or the mastics that held it together, and that could very well be part of it. But I was more uh, along the lines of thinking that it may have been struck by lightning because, uh, in many ways, the type of damage, when I actually came over here and looked at the debris field, um, I don't think if the glue failed that the that the earth would, would move out, that the pieces would move out so far. The debris field was probably 40 to 60 feet or more in every direction. Yeah. And, you know, glue failure would just, it would have just dropped, don't you think? Yeah, yeah and it would have gone all different directions. And it, it actually uh, went two different directions, basically. And um, there, um, there were people in the building that told me that they heard an explosion. Right. And, I mean, I would go right with the theory of lightning, because if, if the lightning hit, it would sound like an explosion. And, uh, you know, it's very romantic, and I, I kind of hope that that would be the cause. Um, there was um, definitely at least a failure, but that wasn't the cause that it came down. But whatever was the mechanical or lightning, whatever was the first cause, wouldn't have happened the way it did if wouldn't have the at 